Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to June 26th, 2021, which means it's 626 day. It is, it is stitch day. And, um, I need to change my clothes. Turns out, I literally have no stitch clothing. Why? I don't know. If I came to Polynesian, hopefully I get a stitch shirt. There's no stitch stuff here. Like, I literally thought this would be the best place to find something legal and stitch. Stitch was literally. But clothing-wise, it's not happening. Guess time for asking. construction out in here. What's going on? They're like redesigning all of the Polynesian Village Resort. If you can hear it or not, but they're pop rocks and they're popping. Oh yeah! So I wasn't able to pull off a stitch wardrobe, um, but that's okay. I was able to acquire the stitch Dole Whip, which really is just vanilla ice cream blue. However, there's pop rocks, and are they popping? Oh my gosh! So it is just vanilla ice cream. It's blue. I kind of wish it was like a maybe a blueberry favorite flavor or even a raspberry flavor. But I mean, you can't go wrong eating ice cream. It looks the color of Stitch. <laughs> it's hollow inside. His ears and a comb. Mm. I love Disney World. Such ear. White proper. Delicious. So it is Stitch Day because it is 626, June 26th. Stitch is Experiment 626. Now, apparently, early in the day, it was super hot. So they're serving the ice cream just in the cone. But it was melting so fast that they decided to give you a cup on the cone and make your own little ice cream. But it's definitely cooled off, which has been nice. Let's walk around Polynesian. And we're done. Maybe I'll just put it back in the cone on my own. Like my own stitch cone. I feel like a little kid just covered in blue ice cream. My lips are blue. <laughs> so also came over here to check out the progress of the construction here for the new sort of main entrance. It is crazy that they have literally, like literally rebuilt the entire monorail station. Uh, last time I was here, that bridge didn't exist. 
which is is nuts. So much has happened. It's nice when they build up because then you can see over the construction wall. That's not really cool. More on that construction. I literally have no idea what they're doing. But there's the pool. Uh, I've come out to the beach area of the Polynesian, have not been out here in quite some time. And uh, bungalows, contemporary, Space Mountain, Tron, and beyond the little island. You know what's there. There she is. There. Okay, so here's something fun. Um, these bungalows are my dream. <clears throat> they are literally um, all I want in life. I want to stay in one of these bungalows for whatever birthday, a night, just because it's Tuesday. I don't care. I want to stay in one of these bungalows. So if any of you have a hookup, I'd love that. Um, but I also, what's also weird, this is very odd to me. I've never been to this area. I've never even been over here. This is literally the closest I've ever been to the bungalows. I had no idea this whole walkway was here. That's kind of fun and, and silly. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. I guess I also didn't realize like how many of them there are. There's just a, a bunch of them. Is that an open, does that say open house? No, that doesn't say open house, does it? What? Okay, that sign totally says open house. How do I get in there? How do I just view it? All right, so I'm guessing to get to the open house, you gotta take a tour of Disney Vacation Club and there's no way I can do that. So there's the bungalows. Tangaroa Terrace. When I used to stay here as a kid, so Polynesian was always like our stay. That's where we'd stay as a kid. I grew up here, sort of. And uh, <clears throat> Tangaroa Terrace used to be like a restaurant. It was the non-character breakfast breakfast. <laughs> it's pretty great. Oh, I believe it's just convention space. But, uh, but then of course there's also Lilo's Playhouse, which is the kid area, which I'm not even sure is open right now, but when I was a kid, it was Peter Pan's Neverland. So Peter Pan's always been a part of our life too. So a lot of people have asked like what happened up in Massachusetts and why did I come back? And <clears throat> there's a lot of reasons, there's a lot of things, but I think one of the main things was that I really, I really missed here. Um, Disney has always been a huge part of my life. Um, and I, I missed being able to run out of the house, go to the Polynesian, and grab some ice cream just because that was the that was the special for the day. And so I'm super happy to be home. Super happy to be back. Very thankful that I found something super fast and um that has a fairly flexible schedule when I can I can still do this kind of stuff. So happy six or six day. It's a good day to have a good day.